the boat inside of the shop was a bit of a challenge uh, simply because of the height of the boat. Uh, we were right up mac maximum height. We had the, the boat dropped as low as we can get it on the hydraulic trailer. And even at that, we had to remove some of the, the fluorescent lights up at the top on the ceiling to, to get the boat in. We ended up having to remove um, part of the worm shoe on the bottom of the keel um, just to make up the you know one or two inches that we were missing by. So we removed the worm shoe and then we had to remove the lights from the inside of the shop just because they were interfering with the cabin top going in. So right now we are pulling all the planks away from the stem right. so we can pull the stem out of the boat. Uh, so what we had to do was strip all the paint off of the hull and Ben's now sanding the primer off so we can get to all the plugs, pull the plugs out, pull the fasteners out, and then we can start splaying the planks away from the frames. So the stem took several guys to actually pull out of the boat. We had to set up a, uh, a hoist inside the shop to support it uh, because using a piece of wood that big I think it weighed probably 250 pounds and it's kind of awkward and, and big and you know it's not something that one person can really hold. We pulled the old stem out of the boat first, uh, made up a pattern from that uh, and then laid it on the, the new piece of wood to find out you know where we would want to, how we would want to orient the new stem. So initially we tore the stem out of the boat, took off a lot of the bow planking and uh, to source out the wood, we ended up going up to uh, New England Naval Timbers in Connecticut to find a, you know, a chunk of wood large enough that we could cut the stem out of. And it was a pretty sizable piece of wood. I think it might have been about uh, 10 inches thick by 24 inches wide by probably a good 16 or 18 feet long. Yeah, so I used a power plane to shape the front edge, the leading edge of the stem. And once I had that shape, I was able to determine the angle that the rabbit needed to be. So I cut the rabbit out with a router and a jig that I set up. And uh, yeah, just slowly kept working away at it and removing material until we got it right to what it needs to be. So it was, it was quite a bit of work, but I think, uh, I think we ended up having it fit perfectly into the boat after four tries. Over the years, there's been a number of repairs done in the stem area, so there were quite a few short planks uh, where the plank ends were just cut off and replaced with maybe a two foot, three foot, four foot piece up there. And at this stage of the uh, restoration, we really wanted to return it more original, so we pulled all those off plus the remainder of what would have been the original plank and went back with new planks that range in length from probably about 10 or 11 feet all the way up to 16 feet. So at the bow, we ended up replacing a total of 56 uh, planks, wow. ranging between uh, 10 feet and 16 feet long. Pretty much all of the structural um, pieces on the boat are made out of white oak. So the stem, all the frames, the deck beams, floor timbers, uh, engine beds, shaft logs, all, you know, all that is, is uh, white oak. And then all the planking is made out of Philippine mahogany. And why Philippine mahogany? Um, so, fill, so mahogany is a pretty common um, material to use for planking, so is cedar, but cedar is a lot softer. Uh, mahogany is stronger, it's really rot resistant, um, so just gives the boat a lot more, uh, it's a lot more substantial. Right.